It began quietly. A handful of strange images posted to a small science forum few had ever heard of. They were blurry, distorted, and yet deeply unsettling. The anonymous user who uploaded them claimed they showed something invisible to the human eye, figures bending light in ways that seemed to defy the known laws of physics. Within hours, the thread vanished, the account was deleted, the attachments removed, and even cached versions disappeared. It was as if the internet itself had swallowed the evidence. Those who saw the images before they were erased described them as almost alive, as if the shapes within them were aware of being watched. Some called it a hoax, others insisted it was the first visual proof of something that existed just beyond human perception. The only clear point online was that the poster, who signed his messages as Spectra 9, had vanished without a trace. Spectra 9 had appeared only weeks earlier on a niche forum dedicated to experimental physics and imaging technology. His early posts were technical and obscure, filled with jargon about frequency mapping and optical resonance. He claimed to have built a modified imaging array capable of detecting light frequencies beyond the visible range, a blend of infrared, ultraviolet, and a process he described as resonant interference capture. At first, no one paid much attention. Then, one night, he uploaded several photographs that changed everything. The images appeared to show a dimly lit laboratory. In the haze stood several tall human-like forms, elongated, semi-transparent, their edges flickering between visibility and emptiness. The space around them looked warped, as though light itself was bending. Spectra 9 insisted these were not camera errors or double exposures. He wrote that his device had captured real entities, existing within overlapping frequency bands, occupying a parallel layer of reality, visible only when the right combination of sensors aligned. Reaction was immediate and divided. Some users mocked him, others downloaded the files and began enhancing them frame by frame. A few claimed to find repeating geometric grids embedded in the distortion, patterns too regular to be random. When they examined the metadata, they found more oddities, camera models that didn't exist, timestamps that conflicted, and light readings far outside normal measurable ranges. Whether this meant a breakthrough or a sophisticated fake, no one could tell. Images quickly spread beyond the forum. On Reddit, image boards, and small chat groups, people dissected every pixel. Some saw it as the first glimpse of life existing beyond human sight. Others called it performance art or digital myth-making. Still, the question lingered. How could ordinary image files contain references to light frequencies that consumer cameras couldn't even detect. Spectra 9 continued posting for several days, explaining that his results came from combining high-speed lens capture, modified infrared sensors, and low-temperature interference mapping. The configuration, he said, revealed what he called the electromagnetic residue of parallel existence. Over time, his tone began to shift. He mentioned strange interference in his lab, unexplained static, and flickering lights. In one post, he wrote, I can feel something watching, not people, something else. His final message was short. I'll upload the full data set before they make me stop. Hours later, his profile and every trace of the discussion were gone. According to the forum's administrator, the deletion appeared automated and system level, not a manual removal. That detail only deepened the mystery. A few users who had downloaded the attachments before the wipe began shared them privately. The surviving copies were low resolution, yet unsettling in their detail. In the first image, three tall silhouettes stood in a mist of green light. When enhanced, faint lattice patterns crossed their outlines, resembling a crystalline or glass-like texture that refracted light differently from the background. The second image showed one figure blurred forward, leaving behind a streak of light decay, reminiscent of motion trails seen in particle collision photography. The third was chaotic, a room filled with glowing distortions, where vague circular shapes appeared and vanished. Some viewers thought they resembled eyes. Others said it was pareidolia, the brain's tendency to impose patterns on randomness. Yet the eyes aligned closely with the geometry of the previous figures, as if positioned deliberately. Hidden deep in the code of one image, forensic analysis revealed a single faint line of text. They see you now. Whether it was a deliberate signature, a prank, or a data glitch remains unknown. But after people began opening the files, reports circulated of computer malfunctions 
screens flickering, hard drives crashing, and processors overheating. None of this was verified, yet the coincidences fed the story's growing unease. Online communities launched an open source investigation. Programmers built tools to break the files down pixel by pixel. When analyzed through polarization filters, additional shapes appeared. Faint grids resembling models of higher dimensional geometry described in theoretical physics. Some physicists pointed out that certain string theory equations predict additional spatial dimensions that, under rare conditions, might momentarily intersect with ours. Others dismissed the resemblance as a coincidence, arguing that random noise could easily create illusions of order. Attempts to re-upload the original files met strange obstacles. Platforms often flagged them as corrupted or unsafe, even when scans confirmed they were clean. Some users suggested that automated moderation systems had blacklisted the hash signatures. Others believed government or corporate agencies intervened, particularly since some of the described sensor technology resembled classified research in multispectral imaging. No official explanation was ever offered. Psychologists observing the phenomenon said it illustrated how mystery thrives in uncertainty. To many, Spectra 9 became a myth, a digital ghost representing the fear of knowledge lost or hidden. The more people argued about the images, the more they revealed about themselves. Believers seeking transcendence, skeptics defending reason, and storytellers weaving both into legend. Scientists who commented publicly remained cautious. Some proposed that the images might simply depict interference patterns, overlapping light frequencies producing shapes that the human brain interpreted as figures. Others suggested data corruption or layered reflections. None could reproduce the results described in the forum posts. Meanwhile, a handful of independent researchers attempted to replicate Spectra 9's experiment using the fragments of his notes still circulating online. None reported success. Two later claimed to receive encrypted emails warning them to abandon their work. One said his lab servers were wiped days later though investigators could not verify the connection. Whether coincidence or intimidation, the pattern reinforced the idea that something, or someone, wanted the subject buried. As months passed, the story escaped its scientific roots and entered popular culture. Podcasts dissected every theory, documentaries replayed the surviving frames, and artists recreated the spectral figures in digital installations. University lectures used the event to discuss data ethics and the fragility of online truth. The debate shifted from what the images showed to why they disappeared so completely. For some, the explanation was simple – human error and collective imagination. For others, it was evidence of suppression a discovery too disruptive to remain public. A few religious commentators suggested the deletion might have been protective, arguing that not all knowledge is meant to be revealed. Philosophers countered that censorship, even for safety, only ensures ignorance. Between conviction and skepticism, the story found its lasting power. Today, no verified trace of the original discovery remains. The forum is defunct, the backups erased, and the name Spectra 9 leads nowhere. Yet fragments continue to resurface, corrupted thumbnails, mismatched timestamps, and whispered copies of files said to cause strange behavior when opened. Each new generation of internet sleuths rediscovers the case and asks the same questions. Were the images genuine evidence of another dimension? A misinterpreted experiment? Or a sophisticated digital myth born of a desire to believe the universe still holds secrets? What endures is the line found hidden deep within the pixel data. They see you now. Whether it was a joke, a message, or a coincidence, it captured the unease at the heart of the mystery. Because when humanity looks too closely into the unknown, the boundary between observer and observed begins to blur. Maybe Spectra 9 discovered something real. Maybe he only mirrored our collective need for wonder. But while fragments of his work circulate through forgotten corners of the web, the question remains open. What if he wasn't the one watching? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and see you next.